Hey guys, guys and, and welcome, welcome to, to our, our channel. channel. Today we're going to be filming an advice video from our two most recent graduates, Joshua, as well as my sister, Rosen. And stay tuned for a mini vlog of our graduation party at the end of this video. Hey guys, uh, my name is Rosen. My name is Josh. I'm a recent kinesiology graduate. I just graduated from Ontario Tech University. Well, I graduated from UFT with a Bachelor's of Science. Um, I did my major in Human Biology and I did my two minors in Immunology and Buddhist Psychology. Tell them a bit about yourself, like your hobbies, what you like, etc. For the most part, I don't do a whole lot. But what I do do is I study a lot. Now that that's done, I've been getting really into lifting. Uh, another one of my hobbies is that I like to play with my dog Luna. She's a lot of fun. As she's sleeping in the corner over there, you can't see her, but yeah, I like to train her as well. <laughs> well, I'm a dog person. This is my dog Bella. She's 10, turning 11. Um, I enjoyed running. I haven't done it lately, but I ran, I think, two half marathons and a bunch of 10K and 5Ks. I've been going to the gym for, I think, six years now. Mm -hmm. I am a morning person. I'm a morning person, and I've recently taken on reading as a hobby. Tell me about your undergrad experience, because yours was different from some other undergrads that had started before you or after you. So my undergrad was five years. I took an extra year to complete my undergrad. I actually spent the first two to two and a half years in person and then the rest of it was online due to COVID. And I don't think I spent much of my last final year in person because I chose to do most of it online so I can avoid the commute. So my undergraduate experience is traditional and untraditional in a sense. My undergraduate overall took five years to finish. The reason why is I started in Bachelor of Health Science, transferred to Ken. You don't have all the credits that transfer over. And in between the transferring, I ended up taking a six month leave. So when I enrolled, I enrolled late and I only got to have certain classes because like the way the year level works, I had to basically just take an extra like half year of credit. So overall it took five years, but it was well worth the wait. What did you like most about undergrad? Okay, so I went to a small school, so what I found was that there may not be as much opportunities as large schools, but the opportunities you have, very much not easy to get into, but if you really try and connect with your professors, connect with people who you know in the program, there's a lot of opportunities that you can get into without the same competition, and you might even get like leadership roles which you would not necessarily get at other schools. Uh, COVID is <laughs> I enjoyed my Buddhist psychology courses much more because I was able to work collectively as a group and I got to meet more people. Name one thing that you like least about your undergrad. I think my least favorite thing about my undergrad was the science-based courses only because I did not like the format of all the testing. I enjoy more project-based courses rather than actually test-based courses so that's the least thing I enjoyed about UFT. As I just said, one of the best things I had was I went to a small school, which was amazing because it gave me opportunities for extracurriculars I wouldn't have had at large schools. The downfall is also the same kind of idea is that when you go to a small school, but you don't get to the same kind of course selection. So at the beginning of university, my school was partnered with Trent and they offered a bunch of classes and electives that you were able to take like French, English, German, Mandarin, you name it, there's all these electives. When that partnership ended and being part of a small school, Really, we only had like 15 electives to choose from as a kinesiology student and there wasn't much options and you were very much stuck to what you were majoring in. So that part kind of was unfortunate. But other than that, like I said, there's pros and cons to both. If you had to choose again, would you choose a different university? I feel like I would still go to UFT, but I also feel like I would have chosen different courses. But I know like first year, second year was very limited on the courses I had to take, but I feel like I would have did more seminar based courses. Okay, that's also a big one. So the thing is that if I had all the knowledge I had now and I went back in time, I probably would have chose a different university, mainly due to having access of more opportunities per se. Like I could have had easier time getting into research, but also I believe that all things happen for a reason. So would I change it? No, because I don't want to like undo 
things I've done in the past. Did you live on campus or did you commute? I commuted. Did I think I did the GO train for a little bit until I got a car and I just drove straight to campus. Did you like commuting or did you not like commuting? I did not like the commute, which is why I actually enjoyed being online and being at home. Okay, so I did the classic thing where a lot of undergraduates in their first year live on residence. I found living in residence was great. However, I found that there was a few drawbacks in the aspect of like, it was very expensive. Like I spent like $15,000 in that total year just on like housing, meal plan, and my tuition where I started to commute from my second year to my fifth year and that cost me significantly less money, saved me a lot of time and also like you kind of have to be home, right? So you have to be with family, friends, you kind of feel more comfortable and you don't have to necessarily be like isolated from the rest of your family. Like yes, friends are amazing, but family is also very important too if you have that kind of family connection. Did you find that like as a commuter student you had trouble making friends or did you find it easy to make friends? I think it was harder to make friends because I was always in a rush to get home because I didn't want to sit during rush hour so I would actually just leave right away and wouldn't even spend any time on campus so I think it was a lot harder to make friends. I found it very easy to make friends with a commuter, commuter student but it's only because I'm in a program that has lab classes and you have lots of opportunities to meet people and be in groups of people that you are always around in lecture and in lab. Uh, the other thing is I volunteer with my campus emergency response team where I met another group of people and a bunch of people that, again, happen to be in kinesiology. Any advice for first year students entering U of T? Entering Ontario Tech. I would recommend first years to really try and make at least a few friends. So the first thing you should do is when you start off in first year, everyone is new. Not everyone knows each other and there's very small groups of people that do know each other. So that first month of school, try and find a few people that you can kind of find close friends with. The other thing I recommend is try and look at as many clubs, societies, and groups you can connect with. It gets better. <laughs> it does get better. I feel like make your friends because I think I had trouble. Not even social, I just, if I talked to more of my peers first year, I feel like I would have done better and been more successful because you kind of like go through it together rather than just kind of isolating and trying to do it on your own. It is 7.20. The reason why I'm up early is because we have to kind of prep a whole bunch of things in the morning. I can tell you guys everything that we're making and what we have, but you guys will see it kind of like in mini clips at the video. Josh is supposed to get up, but he's currently asleep. Excited. There's a lot of work to go still. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> what are we doing right now? Uh, we're gonna get Timmy's to get our day started and then we'll come back, cook rice, okay. prep salad. <laughs> we'll make sure everything's ready. We are currently at Tim Hortons, our daily dose of ice caps, as we said before. If you guys remember our weekend vlog, we've said this before. But, and then we're gonna grind out all of the meal prepping stuff and then get ready and pick some stuff up and then the party starts. Morning. How's it going? Uh, can I have uh, two medium ice caps? Christine and Josh's YouTube channel. I'm on my way to go pick up Joanna. It'll be about a 20 minute drive. All right, I've been asked to get sour cream. Can't find it.
I woke up about 10 minutes ago, around 8.30, and I'm gonna go brush my teeth and get changed into probably some comfy clothes, because I gotta help set up and everything, so there's no point in putting on my dress and getting ready now. We're in the car with Rosa now. Wave. Okay, so... She's filming, but she's here now. Hi. <laughs> Update you guys. So this is what we have so far. We have the Caesar um, bowl. But the dressing's on the side because we'll add it later. Some Parmesan, cilantro, a cheese tray. This is for the taco bowl. And my mom's making a whole bunch of spring rolls. I'm cutting up some cucumbers. We have peppers. Um, and then we're going to do the veggie tray soon. This is what it currently looks like. We have gel shots lined up, our mini cupcakes and cheesecake coming in. We also have a cake that's also coming in. Rose and make these cute signs. Lots of candy. We're still missing a whole bunch of stuff that needs to go here. Um, we have the veggie tray. We will have the burrito bowl, which is kind of small for burrito bowl. <laughs> we need more than that. We need more space than that. Um, that's the main course. Yeah, a lot of Chinese food. And yeah, oops, excuse me. Slowly coming together. Caesar salad. Caesar salad, a lot of Chinese food again. And this side, we're gonna set it up, but it's gonna be where all the, the cups, drinks, utensils, plates are gonna go. Right, Luna? Right. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun Um, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are... Thanks, Thanks so, so much for watching. watching! If you like these advice video, comment down below what you would like to see in our next advice slash Q&A videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications for videos like this every week on Tuesday. Bye! Bye.